Elected leaders are split over the best way to handle the end of Title 42. Nine on your side's Craig Smith has more on rising fears of an immigration surge in our state. A federal health regulation has become one of the hottest topics in the world of immigration. The Trump administration invoked Title 42 in the name of keeping COVID from coming across the border from Mexico. It restricts immigration. Now the Biden administration is looking to lift Title 42 next month, and there's a lot of debate over whether the country is ready for that. Now the Biden administration has said it will lift Title 42 on May 23rd. That's leading to fears pent-up demand to enter the U.S. will lead to an overwhelming surge of immigrants. Congressman Raul Grijalva says there is a plan pending in the Senate for more border resources, more processing and humanitarian support. But any plan has to cope with a system that was already short of what it needs to function. That whole process was starved of hearing officers, of review, of vetting procedures and of process. And so uh, I think there's part of the plan is there and it's resources. Grijalva knows he's at odds with both of Arizona's senators. Mark Kelly and Kirsten Sinema both say there is no plan and say Title 42 should stay in place until there is one to deal with the surge of immigrants they expect. In Douglas, Senator Kelly said the immigration system was stressed before Title 42 and lifting the restriction should make things worse. I warned them about this months ago. I've been talking to C CBP about it and the Department of Homeland Security, and they do not have a plan in place on how to deal with the increased numbers. And it's going to be, to, to be honest, it's going to be a crisis on top of a crisis. Grijalva says there will be stress on the border with or without Title 42. He says the government can quickly increase processing ability and assistance for humanitarian groups who provide much of the help to incoming immigrants. Then he hopes for a more comprehensive plan for the border and the forces that drive immigration. Craig Smith, KGON 9, on your side.